My colleague Tony Sadiku is in Little Falls watching the Passaic, and I already hear the drops. What's going on, Tony? Hey, good afternoon, John. Yeah, as you can hear and see, the light rain has started to fall. It's only going to get heavier as the day goes on. But just looking into the background, yeah, you see the snow-covered ground, but you can see the Passaic over there. You can see the river. There's a distinction. I want to step out of the way because I want to dissolve to show you what this area, this exact area, looked like three weeks ago just a couple of days after the flooding. And you can see the river kind of bleeding into the road there. <laughs> I mean, it's never a good thing when you look out your window and you see a reflection of your home. I mean, just difficult images for folks here and video across the area. We saw this uh, across this area, not just uh, homes turning into islands, uh, water spilling into living rooms and basements, but also the tough travel for folks having to navigate around this as well. And I think that's gonna be big issue heading into this evening as well. Probably want to stay off the roads. Uh, we spoke with residents. I spoke with, with one woman who lives on this street. It was interesting to hear kind of from her how, you know, she keeps tabs on just about every aspect of what this river is doing uh, because, you know, scenes like this have just become routine for them. We keep watching the gauges. So, you know, online there's gauges. So we keep watching those and just make sure it's at an okay level. It is what it is. Water's water, you know, it's nature. You can't do much about it and just hope for the best. And that's Wendy there. She says she's going to be paying close attention this time around because she wants to know if she's got to move her car, get to higher ground. So where do we go from here? I want to get to the weather graphic just to show you what we're projecting with the Passaic here Little Falls. You can see it's expected to get to major flood stage by Thursday, likely staying there through the weekend. The question is, when does it recede, especially with another system headed our way this weekend? Before then, though, a good note for parents who've got kids at after school programs, probably want to check with them to see if any of those are affected by this storm. All right, Tony, thank you very much. Live for us in Little Falls, New Jersey. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy declared a state of emergency tonight ahead of the storm. CBS 2's Christina Fan is in Patterson, where flooding wreaked havoc for residents just a few weeks ago there. Christina. Well, Chris, as you can see, the rain is coming down pretty hard. And while the Passaic River doesn't look too impressive behind us at the moment, families know it can rise so quickly. Three weeks ago, the water levels on the street were up to my neck. 31 families were displaced, and the mayor is fearful that this storm may be worse. Families along the Passaic River in Patterson are still physically and emotionally scarred by last December storm that flooded basements, forced evacuations, and shut down schools. That one is ready for, for sending to Miami. It lost everything. Floodwaters destroyed most of this auto repair shop's inventory three weeks ago, and workers are worried Tuesday's storm system may sweep away what little they have left. FEMA, nobody give you nothing. Nothing, I learned nothing, nothing. Right now, I got my two hands, and that's it. And, and, and it's, it's, it's crazy. In anticipation of severe flooding, Patterson's mayor declared a citywide emergency to begin at 5 p.m. We work with the fire department, police department, and split their divisions into the east side of the river just in case it does flood that high. Right now, we look at the crest at 9.3. The previous storm, it was 8.4. So we're preparing for the worst. Up the Passaic and Little Falls, residents had to use boats to float home after epic rainfall last month forced the river beyond its banks. The mayor says his crews just finished cleaning up from that flood and are now preparing again. DPW has been clearing all of our catch basins to make sure that they are free of any debris or any blocking. So we're hoping that the forecast is off a little bit. Forecasters say, unfortunately, this is a high confidence forecast, in part because of pre existing conditions. Rivers are already swollen, and a lot of the snowpack in northern Jersey is expected to melt. Two o'clock, we issue a flash flood the morning and we we'll close certain streets right away. We also have a Red Cross run shelter for the next five days for 24 hours a day at 60 Temple Street. 
And the mayor of Patterson says he will also be in constant communication with the superintendent to see if schools will be impacted tomorrow or in the coming days. Reporting live from Patterson, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you. Mayors of several New Jersey towns requested floodgates on Pompton Lake Dam be opened ahead of the storm to prevent flooding downstream. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection denied that request. Today, Governor Phil Murphy spoke on WCBS 880 about that decision. And based on the science associated with uh, how these storms play and how the dams uh, th then behave, they, they feel the science is on the side of not doing that. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to be an easy road tonight and, and tomorrow morning, uh, but they, the, the folks at the environmental protection team feel pretty strongly that, that that's the right way to go, and we're going to see. The request came from mayors of Wayne, Pompton Lakes, and Lincoln Park. It's in response. The DEP said opening the dam would not prevent flooding in this case.